After what they did at the 2018 World Cup, first by making it to the World Cup by defeating Italy in the playoffs, and what they did in the Nations League, topping their group, which had Russia in there. I'm not surprised that Sweden has qualified officially for Euro 2020. Congrats to Sweden, man. Congrats to Sweden. They have been on a really, really good run. The best ever Euro performance came in 1992 when they placed third in a tournament they hosted. The best ever World Cup performance also came in 1958, a World Cup which they hosted. But apart from that, they have been mediocre at these big tournaments. 1996, they missed the tournament. Ever since then, they have qualified to every single Euros, reaching the quarterfinals in 2004. But ever since then, group stage, group stage, group stage. The last time, group stage as well. So, Sweden hasn't been doing well in tournaments. Well, the Euros recently. But, if we learn anything from what they did at the 2018 World Cup, guys... Sweden could, you know, actually turn their Euro fortunes around. They have been a really, really, really good team under Jan Andersen. A man who knows how to just grind out results. Same in this game against Romania. Two goals to nil, courtesy of goals from Marcus Berg. I couldn't believe when Marcus Berg scored. He hasn't been great for Sweden lately. Come on, we all know this. And Quezon picked up the second goal. <sighs> they know how to grind out results. They weren't overly impressive. Only three shots off at goal. Romania only had three shots, but they knew how to keep Romania out for the remainder of the game. That's just how Sweden plays. They grind the results out. And they know how to pick up results against big teams as well. In this group, that has Spain, Romania. I think Norway is also in this group. They, they have qualified. 18 points. After nine games, only one loss, a loss they pick up against heavyweights, Spain. The other match against Spain, a 1-1 draw. So, it's just testament to how good this Swedish team has been with guys like Andreas Granqvist, the captain, Albin Ekdal, Lindelof in the back, Robin Olsen in goal. We have guys like Emil Forsberg, Quezon, Marcus Berg, Lustig. The other Olsen, and so on and so on and so on. These guys have been very, they, they have been good. They have been good and they deserve all the praise. As I said again, I'm not really surprised Sweden qualified for the Euros. I predicted them to qualify from this group alongside Spain, who have topped the group. It's official. After nine games, they have 23 points. They have just defeated Malta, I think the game ended seven goals to nil. Wow. As I said again, these games should not even happen, but they're happening. Minnows against heavyweights. Always going to see results like that. But hard luck to Romania. They tried. They were on 14 points. A draw would have kept them in the tie, and it would have pushed them into the final day. But for Sweden, even if they drew this game, they would have gone on to defeat Faroe Islands. The team who they play on their final match day. And they would have gone up to, let's say, 19 points. So, Romania, you tried, but you're not good enough right now. And you just have to continue with, with this team. Very young team. Very impressive team. And you just have to keep the faith and work on the positives. Work on the positives. Well, I should say... Work on the negatives and continue improving on the positives. So, guys, not much more to say. I expected this from this Swedish team. But congratulations to Sweden. They have been a vastly improved unit under Ian Andersen. Or Jan Andersen, I should say. And I expect them to do well at the Euros. Just like they did at the World Cup. They are ready for the big stage. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and visit cardsplug.com slash DominicRichFC. Use the coupon code DominicRichFC to get 15% off. A link would be in the description box down below. So thanks again for watching. From your boy Dominic Rich, peace out. Rich Squad!